What's going on people, my name's Lou and I make effects for DaVinci Resolve and today we're going to be learning how to make the Ken Carson video effects. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So you want to come to your clip and right click and go on Fusion. And now the good thing about Fusion is you've got some really cool inbuilt templates uh, and we're going to use the inbuilt template called Night Vision. So head over to the effects panel and drag that over to your Fusion panel. Once you've done that, hold Shift and click on it. Now the great thing about DaVinci Resolve, you can unpack all their inbuilt, um, the inbuilt templates. So you can go ahead and ungroup them and really see the fundamentals and basics of how they're put together. This way you can learn how to build templates of your own and also create more detailed uh, and better effects. What you wanna do is come to the mosaic blur and let's just up the pixel frequency. The one that was already uh, there was kind of a bit over the top and a bit too much. We don't want those large blocks. We want something really thin um, and quite small that can give you that digital sort of a CCTV look going on. Once you've done that, you want to come to the grain. Now there's a lot of grains in built in DaVinci, but you want to use this one that ends in FGR. So go ahead and add that. And you can hold shift and drag that on. Then head over to the inspector and really push the strength up. And straight away we've got this cool digital CCTV looking effect that we literally achieved in two steps. Really simple, really good. Um, once again, I suggest ungrouping uh, the inbuilt templates and really having a look at how they're made. So for this second one, you want to come into Fusion again. And what we're going to do is we're just going to resize our screen here and we're going to come to Color Corrector. You want to add Color Corrector and bring the saturation down. And once you've done that, add Gaussian Blur. And then you want to increase the blur so it's just a little bit faded, not too much so you can't see anything. Then after that, come to Film Grain, the FGR Film Grain, the one we used before, and up the strength. Now the beauty of adding another color corrector is you can increase the contrast and that really embeds the grain into the image. And uh, you just get this really um, contrasty, grainy looking image that looks really good. Now you can also add text. Um, so add a text node and make sure the merge is before the color corrector. Now the text will be blurred and grainy as well, so it really uh, all works together seamlessly just by adding a text node before everything. So now we can sort of mess around and change this. Now if you want to add color to the text, you're just going to have to move the color corrector to the before the merge. And then we can come back into our text node uh, and click on the color and we can change it. And this is a really cool aesthetic, I mean it's really simple to achieve. This works really well with music videos uh, and there's a lot of scope in terms of uh, sort of changing everything and making things work to your specific style. Anyway, let's jump on to the next one and this one we're going to be using my um, Opium Pack, which is Opium 2. Now there's lots of features in this, so let's slowly unpack it, but straight away you just drag it on and you've got this really cool effect. You've got the digitized, grainy, pixelated looking effect with the monochromatic and chromatic uh, grain coming through. Um, and now if we jump in, we can adjust the blur blend. There's a really lot of features here that you can change to uh, achieve what you want. You can change the quality, the damage quality. If you want it to look really crazy, you can go ahead and make it look really crazy. You can change the resolution. You can change the aspect, so you can stretch it, you can pull it. Um, you can make it look a little bit cleaner and just keep everything, or you can make it look, like I said, a bit more insane. There's really a million different ways you can sort of achieve the Yeet, Ken Carson style music video effect with this plugin. And um, the way I built it is there's so many different um, outcomes you can achieve just by dialing in different things and um, maybe upping the resolution, downing the quality, putting in the cell pattern like you can see here that commonly occurs in their music videos. Um, there's really uh, so many different possibilities. Um, it's a powerful plugin and uh, really adds the aesthetic of your music videos. So jump over to bluetooth.com and check that out. There's also full text adjustment in this, so you can completely uh, change the text, change the color, the size, the track and the line space, all the stuff you would expect. Or you can just delete the text and you can keep the inbuilt video effects. So you want to come over to your effects for the last one and click on Bluetooth, Opium and drag your title onto your timeline. Now it's going to come up with media offline, but you want to drag your logo in where it says add logo here. And now straight away we've got this really cool VHS intro or outro that you can use for your music videos. You can adjust the logo positions, the size, everything you would expect, even the text and the font. The beauty of this is it's all procedural and works directly within DaVinci Resolve. So you can adjust all the colors, you can adjust the font, you can adjust um, pretty much everything you need just to get the, uh, the style you're looking for. 
You can then come into the size. Let's make this a little bit smaller and let's change the color. Now, as we change the color, um, you can really start to see the effect come to life. You can see how everything works together and how it's not just overlays or anything like that. Everything's working with each other. So the blur's working with the text, the grain's working with the font, and you're really starting to see a true and authentic VHS style intro. Now there's one thing I really like here where you can adjust the blend mode and you can see the scan lines start to come through and you really get that faded look. Uh, you can have it bright or you can uh, adjust the blend and it just really comes to life. And that's pretty much it guys. I hope you learned a bit from this tutorial. There's a lot you can achieve. Um, we currently got a spring sale on at bluetooth.com which is spring 10 on checkout. So go ahead and check that out on our website. If not, stay tuned for the next tutorial and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.